it's your crazy fangirl shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. Happy 2021. Happy New Year. The first video of Crazy Fangirl Reviews is here. And yeah, we're back with a full year of content ahead of us. There are so many different shows coming out this year. And I'm super excited. To kick off this year, we are starting off with One Division and a double premiere. I had no idea. I literally was like, oh yeah, preparing for one episode. And I looked and I was like, oh, we got two episodes. So nice. Well, I'm very excited, so yeah. Um, as you guys know, I have reacted to the trailers for One Division. I am excited, but I'm also a little bit worried. Not the fact that I'm worried about the show, but about me more liking it, because it they did say it is a sitcom setup, um, which is totally fine, but I don't usually watch a lot of sitcoms. I'm not really into that sort of sitcom-y vibe. Um, I'm hoping to like it, obviously, because it is Marvel and Wanda who is one of my favorite Avengers, and obviously Vision. So I'm really, really hoping it'll grip me. And also I'm hoping me and Mitch and Alex, well, here's another thing. Um, the Aftermath is coming back, my podcast series. We're going to be doing it for a lot of shows coming out this year, not just for The Mandalorian anymore. We're doing it more for all the shows that we all like react to. So if you guys don't know what the aftermath is, me and the best and brothers get together and have a podcast called The Aftermath where we talk about everything to do with the shows that we watch and we talk about it, theorize and just discuss the little details that we enjoyed but also maybe what we didn't enjoy and yeah what we're excited about that's coming in the future for the shows that we talk about. We did this for The Mandalorian and now we will be doing it for WandaVision and many other shows coming out this year. So I'm super stoked to get that on the road again. Tomorrow we'll be getting together for our first episode and obviously on Sunday we'll be releasing it. Um, obviously two episodes because two episodes came out today. So get ready for that. I'm super excited for you guys to see that. But enough of that. Let's just jump straight into this reaction because I'm excited, I'm nervous, but I'm also open to something new. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. <laughs> this does gives me like, um, I Dream of Genie vibes. That's the only sitcom actually that I really enjoyed, so I'm glad that it's giving me those sort of vibes. Any to a spot. Absolutely. Obviously. Exactly. Aww. Alright. Well, that's me off to work, then. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Okay, yeah. I think quickly just pausing it, just to start off, already I'm getting I Dream of Genie vibes, and I used to watch that when I was a kid. That that was something I used to just watch on the television whenever it was on during the day. And that, this actually gives me a lot of vibes because it's just like them and their banter and stuff. And I'm actually already, I'm kind of into it. I'm more, like smiling a lot just because it's giving me a lot of like throwbacks. I was also going to say as well, just before we continue, was that um, me and Alex and Mitch have been saying that a possibility that could happen is the crossover of different universes and different times as well, just because of Wanda's meddling, especially because I did read the comic that this is supposedly supposed to take place in, and it is due to her meddling that a lot of things go wrong, and that's where, like, different universes start to clash, different timelines, and it sort of has something connection to do with, in the comics, not in the movies or the TV shows, but to do with Captain America going back in time, and then all the stuff that's supposedly supposed to happen in the upcoming Doctor Strange movie, which obviously this is connected to, as well as the Spider-Man movie. So I was hoping, especially in this, that there's like an element of horror and also that there is sort of like that conversion of time, which seems like it's sort of happening, but I also want to see a little bit of horror just because we are have been promised with Doctor Strange that there is horror. And Wanda in the comics, in many of them, has been horrifying. So I hope we get to see a little bit of that, like, like sprinkled in this series. So let's hope. But anyway. Hey, is there something I can help you with, buddy? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Would you be so good as to tell me what it is we do here exactly? Ooh. Do we make something? No. Right. Do we buy or sell something? No and no. Then what is the purpose of this company? All I know is since you've gotten here, productivity has gone up 300%. Yes, but what is it we're producing? 
computational forms. And no one can process the data quite like you do, pal. You're like a walking computer. Well, I most certainly am not. Ooh, yeah, that moment at the beginning was like, why are we here? That's also interesting. I like that little detail. Wanda has built this world from her mind. So she's just like, you know, okay, give Vision a simple job, computing, and it can be whatever. And literally Vision's just doing it nonsensically. So yeah, the fact that he now acknowledges that, like, you know, he doesn't really know why he's there and what he's doing. Like, it's just like, you know, going through sort of like the throes of like life. Oh, that's really interesting. I actually really like that. <laughs> I think the best course of action is to impress the husband. Oh, wonderful. Glad to know oh no, this is why I, I'm remembering why I don't like sitcoms. It's because it's cringy. <laughs> and I can't do with cringe. Oh, that's my worst thing. This is why I don't watch comedies either. But anyway, let's get through it. <laughs> cringe! traditional Sokovian greeting of hospitality. Uh, guess who? Oh, is that my host behind me? It certainly is. <laughs> Lovely to make your acquaintance. <laughs> oh, God, this is so cringy. I just see you in the kitchen for a moment, sweetheart. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> who are those people? What are you wearing? Why are they here? What are you wearing? Well, it's our anniversary. Where did you two move from? What brought you here? How long have you been married? And why don't you have children yet? Uh, I think what my wife means to say is that we, we, we moved from love. Yes, we moved from... And we were married. Yes, yes, we were married in... Well, moved from where? Married when? No, patients are... Th they're setting up their story. Let them tell it. We... Damn it, why? Why did you... Oh, Arthur, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh, God. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. Vision, help him. Give me hand. All right, steady on, sir. Oh... Oh wow, already finished. Is there anything else? Oh wait. Shoot, okay, damn. That was like, that last part? Oh. Who, wait, I need to go back. That looked like a woman's hand. Who could it be? Not sure. It, it, this is some sort of simulation? I don't know. But, damn, guys. Like, surprisingly, I actually really enjoyed that. There was, like, those cringe moments from sitcoms that we've seen from, like, the 80s and stuff. And I have to say, the 80s vibe was on point. You know, like, talking about the wife and the husband and, you know, the job and, like, the, the wipe away, like, transition. Like, that gave me, like, such happy vibes because, you know, like, for example, and this show particularly gave me such massive vibes of, like, I Dream of Jeannie just because of the fact that, you know, Dream of Jeannie, she was the wife and she would do all the stuff just exactly like Wonder and she'd mess it up exactly like that. Really great start and I love it already. Like I'm really enjoying it but also I'm kind of like shocked by that moment where it's like you know she's like little moments that happen in this it's like it's obviously you can see like something's wrong so like um, in terms of, like, the wedding, like, details and where they're from, etc. So Wanda obviously can't really remember. She doesn't really want to connect, like, their story, I guess, to what's happened before. So, like, the Avengers, that's how they met, etc. I'm guessing she's trying not to link it back to what started, like, the pain, etc. So, oh, 
it's it's very heavy even though it just seems like all lighthearted you know there's lots of heavy like topics linking back to what they're trying to talk about um and even just that moment where the husband started choking and then the wife was like stop it it seemed like I'm not sure if it was, but maybe Wanda's powers sort of, like, went a little bit weird and she did that to him. I'm not sure if it was, but it sort of felt like it. And just, oh, that was horrifying. And I love how it changed from that sitcom view from, like, third person into just close-ups. And just, yeah, that was great. And just the tension quickly amplified, like, not even a moment's notice. Really, really well done. That was really cool. And again, those details of how Vision was questioning, like, why he was at the workplace, what they're doing, what they're actually doing or accomplishing, that was really interesting, because I think he's starting to realise, not yet, but I think he's starting to realise, like, there's something weird going on. Like, they're married, etc., but something's off. And just, again, that credit scene, not credit scene, but, you know, it's, I wonder who that is and what's actually going on. I'm, if whether it's, like, a simulation, maybe it's, like, wander in her own head maybe like n and someone else is sort of like ov like watching over that or someone else is doing that to wander i wonder what's going on like i'm really intrigued and that's why i'm really curious and like i'm wondering what's going to happen in the rest of the episodes because it just seems like such a unique take on something that's marvel so i'm really glad that they're taking on taking us on this sort of journey and just i'm excited to see what's in store so thank you guys so much for watching this i hope you guys enjoyed it please give a like subscribe comment and tell me your thoughts on the first episode of wandavision i'm gonna jump straight into the next reaction of episode two wandavision so i'll see you guys in that video in just a bit <laughs> crazy big girl out Woo!